So, UPS 101. This is what Wikipedia defines a UPS as. So, it's defined as an uninterruptible power supply or an uninterruptible power source, commonly referred to as a UPS. And it's an electrical apparatus that provides emergency power to load when the input power sources fail. So UPS is different from like an auxiliary generator or an um, emergency generator in that a generator will take time to spin up and put itself online. So during that time that you're waiting for that generator to come up and your power is out, you've lost everything connected to your utility power. So what a UPS does is it guarantees that it will provide you power during that time that the generator is coming up or through short outages. So you're not going to get long run times out of UPS systems that are not designed that way. And we'll get into that in a minute. Uh, the UPS will also filter the power. It'll filter out surges and uh, spikes and sags in the utility lines coming into the building. And again, it's only for uh, a few minutes really is what a UPS's primary operation is to provide power just for a few minutes. So uh, a UPS, this is typical of a UPS that we'll have in a rental department. I believe this is about a 150 kVA UPS. When I say 150 kVA, it's 150,000 watts, basically. So uh, uh, kVA and, and, and kW ratings, we're not going to get into that today. Uh, it gets a little technical. They're very close, let's, let's put it that way. So 150 kVA UPS is actually 120 kW uh, UPS. And uh, we're not going to get into that, like I said. This is also a UPS here. This is much smaller. This is what you'll see in a lot of companies under desks and stuff like that. This is for a larger application, this type of UPS here. This is for a smaller application. And basically what it is, it's a power filter, and it's constantly running, charging batteries, and it's just looking at the input power line, waiting to discharge its batteries and continue to power critical load. So for today's demonstration, this is the critical load. This is our computer right here. It's Bob's drop light. As you can see, it's plugged into the back of the UPS system. Everything's fine. And if you simulate a power average, Chris, would you mind pulling that yellow extension cord out? You'll hear the UPS uh, fan come on and it'll start beeping, letting you know, hey, I lost power, but the light never went out. So if this was your computer, your computer would still be up and running. If everybody will think back about six or eight weeks ago, we had a two to three hour power average here, but nobody's computer went down because the guy who designed and put the UPS in here was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Gene. You, you don't have to talk to me about that. Oh, okay. That's right. You put it in. Uh, you can go ahead and plug that back in. So when, when the power comes back, you'll notice the light doesn't even blink or anything, and the UPS is charging its batteries again. So during that time period, when, the, when Chris pulled the plug out, this had no power coming out of the wall, and it had to provide power to this light. So it does it through uh, a few batteries in here. 